So you've probably heard of the TV show, The Voice. It's, it's a TV show singing competition, one of the largest in the United States, where real life music rock stars serve as coaches for the contestants. One of our contestants, a top 10 finalist, is Austin Jenks, who also happens to be a Western Washington University alumnus. I'm thrilled to be able to interview you here today. It's really great to have you back to Western. Thank you, man. Good to be here. Yeah, but tell us a little bit about your journey. Yeah, you know, I graduated from Western in 2010, and I moved back down to Seattle and, um, you know, hung around for a bit, played some music, and I decided to move to Nashville in the beginning of 2011, actually. And, uh, oh, I'm sorry, beginning of 2012. Um, went down there and uh, saved up enough money to hang out for about six months just to see how it was going to go. My girlfriend moved down with me and got a job. Who is now your fiance? Now my fiance, yeah. yeah. Right. Congratulations. <laughs> uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, so yeah, I got a job working in a warehouse after that saved up money was gone and drove a forklift and met so many people in Nashville, musicians just kind of networked and started co-writing with with people and uh, my focus from you know for moving there I was focused on uh, writing songs for other people and I wanted to be able to have a career as a writer and uh, um, as I met people and hung around I met a friend that knew somebody that uh, knew somebody at the voice <laughs> you know and I got a, an industry audition which is really cool I didn't have to go wait in line for a day you know I got to go hang out and, and just do my thing and it was about a six month process before I got to do the blind audition um, and it's uh, it's crazy looking back on it now because I have been traveling a lot and I have a lot of shows booked for the next year and uh, I'm gonna be on the road a lot and I'm gonna be planning my wedding over the phone <laughs> uh, and so yeah, I, and it, but this is what I wanted. I, I wanted to live out of a suitcase at least for a while, and um, I hope to move back here uh, to the Northwest again one day, and um, that's the plan anyway. So. so tell us a little bit about the experience on The Voice. The judges right. don't see you singing, yeah. you sing, yeah. they turn around if they're interested in being right. your mentor basically, right? right. some chairs and you picked Blake Shelton? I did. I picked Blake. Yeah. And I, I picked him, I think, just because he seemed like a nice guy. I, you know, I got to go up there and, and do Simple Man, which is a song I've known since I was 10 years old and um, meant a lot to me to be able to perform that song because I've performed it at basically every show um, since I started playing. So and what I've learned from watching Blake and Christina and all that, their job is to make people happy, yeah. you know, and um, it's not an easy task all the time, but it's definitely something that I'm okay with. I, I, I really enjoy being around people and um, anytime I am tired or whatever, you know, uh, if I'm busy or whatever, I just kind of remind myself how amazing it is to be able to do what I do. Sure, sure. What's on your iPod right now? Me. What kind of music? Yeah, you just... No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, I, uh, I have a lot of different stuff. I listen to Bon Iver. Um, mm -hmm. And also a band called Need to Breathe is okay. uh, one of my favorites. They're kind of more of a, a rock band. So, okay. Yeah. So uh, you mentioned being uh, late to class sometimes. So let's talk a little bit about your experience at Western. <laughs> um, so you grew up, at, went to Cedar Crest High School, grew yep. up in Duval. Yeah. Uh, had all sorts of universities to pick. How come Western? Why did you pick Western? You know, I came and hung around campus and I thought it was really cool. 
Uh, I had a couple other schools that I could have went to. Thought about playing football and had a couple opportunities to at least go play or walk on. And mm -hmm. um, I just decided that music was something that I was going to always do. And and um, at the time, I'd already recorded a CD for my senior project, you know, and I was so into that. Mm -hmm. And uh, it seemed like that kind of thing was really accepted up here. Yeah. So. So you ended up coming to Western. Is there any, uh, I mean, through your Western experience, is there anything that uh, you might have learned as a part of your Western experience that helped you at The Voice or as you've moved on, as you moved to Nashville? Um, yeah, I, there's a lot of stuff. It's hard to list it all. I, I think surrounding yourself with good people is probably the biggest thing I learned here. Um, I didn't have the best GPA. I didn't have everything going for me, you know, when I came here. Um, but professors, students, I mean, everybody here was just so accepting of me yeah. and, and what I do and whether that's music or just whatever, you mm -hmm. know, um, and if you pick the right people to, that know where you're headed, you know, that you can kind of confide in, um, it really helps, you know, I, I would never have been able to do any of this on my own and, um, as I told you, my tour manager and my booking agent mm -hmm. they were uh, they're both western alums and uh, they worked for as pop music and um, i'm just in a spot now where I, I have people that are just you know there for me and a lot of that comes from my time being of being here at western it's really great to have you in the studio Man, it's thank really you nice so to meet much. you austin i appreciate right. it nice yeah. to meet you too yeah, me too okay. austin jenks I think that I have more at stake. I'm all about proving people wrong and breaking stereotypes of that. So when I go into interviews or networking events, I know that the first thing they're gonna see is my disability and I need to change that and get them to focus on my resume and academics. If I get a prestigious job, it's going to be more to me because I know that I've worked since I was one day old to this goal.